Hello. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to control a stepper motor using the infrared remote control and Arduino. If you press and hold the left or the right button on the remote, the motor will spin as long as you hold the button. If you press button down or button up once, the motor will start to continuously spin left or right. This project is brought to you by PCBWay. What I really like about them is that you can get 10 professional made boards for around $5. For this project which is you really need amazing for professional made boards. In the website, just click module, on the get instant quote motor, and you will see how Arduino much the PCB board, will cost. Wires, they also offer other services like PCB assembly, 3D printing, CNC machining. The link will be in the description, so go and check them out. For this project you will need infrared remote sender, infrared receiver module, stepper motor, Arduino board, jumper wires and Visuino program. Wire everything according to this schematic. Go to website and download and install Visuino program. Start with Uno and select the board. In our case, it is Arduino Uno. Add infrared remote receiver component. Double click on the infrared receiver 1 and in the elements window add decode NEC command and in the properties window set the code for the up button. Here you put the infrared code that is used for this button. Add another NEC command and add the code for the down button. Add another NEC command and in the properties window set value for the left button add another NEC command and add the code for the second button these codes might be different for certain remotes so I will show you in the next step how to obtain the codes close the elements window connect Arduino digital pin 2 to infrared receiver 1 pin sensor now if you don't have the code for the remote controller connect infrared receiver 1 component pin out to arduino board serial pin upload the code to arduino board and start pressing the left and right buttons on remote controller and you should see the codes appearing in the serial monitor window and now you can use these codes in the previous step add three digital multi-merger components Add three digital multi source components. Add 
add digital value component add toggle flip-flop component add four wire stepper motor component double click on the digital value one and in the elements window drag set value to the left side and drag another set value to the left side and in the properties window set value to true and close the elements window select stepper one and in the properties window select enabled and click on the pin icon and select boolean sync pin and select reversed and click on the pin icon and select boolean sync pin set steps per second to 500 select half step and set it to false connect NEC command 1 to digital multi-merger 1 pin 0 and connect NEC command 2 to digital multi-source 1 pin in connect NEC command 3 to digital multi-source 2 pin in and connect NEC command 4 to digital multi-source 3 pin in connect digital multi-source 1 pin 0 to digital multi-merger 1 pin 1 and connect digital multi-source 1 pin 1 to digital multi-merger 3 pin 0 Connect digital multi-source 2 pin 0 to flip-flop 1 pin clock and connect digital multi-source 2 pin 1 to digital value 1 set value 1 pin in and connect digital multi-source 3 pin 0 to flip-flop 1 pin clock and connect digital multi-source 3 pin pin 1 to digital value 1 set value 2 pin in connect digital value 1 pin out to digital multi-merger 3 pin 1 connect digital multi-merger 1 pin out to digital multi-merger 2 pin 0 connect flip-flop 1 pin out to digital multi-merger 2 pin 1 connect digital multi-merger 2 pin out to stepper 1 pin enabled and connect digital multi-merger 3 pin out to stepper 1 pin reversed connect stepper 1 pin 0 to Arduino board digital pin 8 and connect stepper 1 pin 1 to Arduino board digital pin 9 and connect digital pin 2 to Arduino board digital pin 11 and connect stepper 1 pin 3 to Arduino board digital pin 12 At the bottom click on the build tab and make sure that you selected the right ported board and click compile built and upload button.